welcome back. This week we're going to create a posted stamp effect. This works out great for video tutorials because it's there's a few steps in it that tend to trip people up. So let's follow along and see what we create here. First I'm going to select the rectangle shape tool. I'm going to click the paths button in the options bar. This is going to tell Photoshop that I only want to create a path and I don't want to actually create any fill the shape with any pixels yet. So now that I have a path I need to fill it. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select my foreground color to white. I'm going to move over to the paths palette. Click on my path here. And I'm going to click the button at the bottom of the palette that says fill path with foreground color. Now if you look back to your layers palette, it filled the layer that was selected when we left the layers palette with the foreground color. Okay, so next thing we need to do is actually create the small white cutout circles that follow around the edge of a post-it stamp. I'm going to use the eraser tool for this. I'm going to click F5 to open up the brushes palette and select the brush tip shape options. Uh, set your diameter somewhere around 20 to 25 pixels, but the key here is to set the spacing to a large number, somewhere around 150-160%. Okay, I can minimize that. I'm going to move back to my paths palette and click on the actual path. And I'm going to click the button at the bottom that says stroke path with brush. This is going to stroke the rectangle path with the eraser brush that we just created. So there's going to be some small circles that are going to uh, be produced around the actual path, but it's going to erase them out of the actual shape. So if I click that, you'll see now we have a posted stamp. Now some finishing effects. You can add any, any um, art to the actual posted stamp that you'd like. You can also add any type that you'd like to it here, just so you know there's nothing funny going on. I just have several type layers, God Bless America, usual 37 cent USA. And finally, you might want to add a drop shadow layer style to the post-it stamp here, just to give it a little bit of depth. And there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at extremephotoshop at yahoo.com, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.